Over there, in the royal burial ground, lies my father and his father and his father before him. If I had married a woman of my uncle's choosing, on this very day, he would probably pronounce me as king. And the royal line of succession, centuries old, will remain unbroken. I am proud of my lineage. I respect my uncle. But he does not have the right to decide upon my succession to the throne. I believe the people, and only the people, should have the right to decide upon my succession. My commitment to you all has never diminished. But I am told that you no longer wish me to honor you, to serve you as your king, because of the color of my wife that I have chosen. South Africa. Oh, he has a racial disease that has been infected our neighboring countries and us. For look around you. We are segregated in our schools, in our churches, in our hospitals, in practice, if not in law. Are we truly to uphold this Ababa nation that has apartheid, our beloved Katla? The same Ababa nation that has been oppressing us for decades. What is to become of our beloved Africa? We should not be fighting segregation. We should be fighting for equality. That is where we should be focusing our minds on. Not on the color of my wife that I have chosen, who means you no harm. Whose own apparent crime was that she fell in love with me and that I too fell in love with her. South Africa, it will never be free as long as all those that live in her, black and white, recognize that race bear no bearing to equality and justice. I do not expect you to accept this, but I cannot serve you without her by my side. I will respect your wishes, however, and I am ready to serve you because I love my country. I love my people. I love my land. And I love my wife. But I will respect your wishes.